Ooh. A little bit on this wood. Yeah, that, and that's what, maybe a five-foot drop? <laughs> so did you see what I did, Guinness? Oh. A couple, I mean, uh, red mates just came down the... But he didn't have anything to hold on to. I could lean on the rock. Yep. Just step right here. Just, yep. just think about your footing. Watch that foot. Looks yeah. like we get to go under a boulder here. Under a boulder? Yay! <laughs> like, how long has it been since we got to do that? It is slick, and it's going to get slicker with every foot. All the sand crew. Oh yeah, I see the arrow. <laughs> Pretty sure. That's Now, do you see that there's there's good rocks above you to hold on to? Yeah. Pull yourself up there. Um, take a, a short little drop here, or you can go down that way. But th this is good this way. You all right? I'm okay. Are you talking back? Yeah. No, I was talking. Uh, I was asking Guinness. No. I've seen people scamber up this way, so. Yeah, I think you could do that. I wonder, uh, yeah, is there good foot traffic on that? On the up? There's some uh, slippage, <laughs> some scrapage. Scratch marks. There's a, an arrow here, I believe. So take Where is it? Does it say go the way that you're going? Yeah, there's that? two there's arrows. There's an arrow in here, I believe. Okay. Two arrows and a blaze saying this way, so. Can you move, Calvin? No. no. Not yet. I'm pretty sure we haven't uh, made that mistake yet. I saw Jimmy Hoffa before. <laughs> is that where he is? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, all over Connecticut. I always say dry and stay away. In the swamps. <laughs> You want to lean forward, my friend? Oh, you're taking it off. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just saw that. Oof. Let's see if we can break a Nalgene bottle. Uh. Oh, cool. My glow in the dark duct tape is glowing. Come on, Pack. Foot up. All right, this extra long trekking pole is really a drag. You can almost stand up in here. Watch y'all's head. You wanna you wanna try to catch this? Oh, watch the trekking pole at you. Good man, good man. Ooh, ooh, back into the sunlight. Okay, well, well what? Where do I put my foot? I can't see in the hole anymore. Oh well, we'll just. Sit on it and uh, arrow. All right, we went under this rock like we were supposed to. Is that what we're supposed to be? Yep. This was definitely the route. All right. Uh, the route out is this way. All right. Yeah, I can grab your bag. 
Foster on through. If you want to throw mine at me real fast, that would be awesome, and I'll get out of this way. Before I stab Guinness with a trekking, not Guinness, I'm sorry, coffee with a trekking pole. Are you, are you feeling like you're going to catch all the packs? I can. You're a good man, Ox. Uh, uh, let me do this. Uh, let me just get on my shoulders. If I'm out of the way, I'll just put my pack on right here. Yeah. You're the man. Thank you. He's a good man. <laughs> you picked the wrong pack, my friend. He's a, he's a weight champion. Alright. Everybody check your pockets and make sure you got all your dangly bits. Oh yeah, I'm sure, you, look, you could have probably worked your way around the, the side there and just yeah. came right through that little crack. <sighs> All right. From uh, this side of the boulder. <laughs> and this this metal element or whatever that is that's here. That, and, that makes the makes these little shinies. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Is it mica I or it was or mica. something? You know, uh, that's how uh, one southbound hiker got her her trail name as a trail stripper. Uh, she had real heavy duty pants on and was like sliding down a lot of these rocks, you know, going south through Maine and the and the whites. And like she went through the whites and her pants were just glittery. Oh my goodness. Like she had, you know, body glitter on. Oh, how about that? So oh, she uh, adopted the name Trail Stripper because of like all this metal was uh, stuck, on her. stuck in her clothes. Oh, that's funny. She introduced herself as trail stripper. I'm like, Hi, all right, I'm, I'm. I can't tell you how glad I'm to meet you. I'm. I'm not going to be able to film this interview. How'd you get that name? Is everyone out the hole or? Well, there's still, there's still like two women who have caught up to us. Well, we, we did stop for a half hour for. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't mean that. All right, if y'all want to like walk right across this, you could sit and, and drop yourself down to this rock I'm standing on, or scoot that way, or walk that way even. You can, you can probably step across there, can't you? With a little bit of energy. I'd rather go to the low. What, what, uh, wreck? Oh, what? Yeah, that, I'd rather. What he just did? There's plenty of roots there. Yeah. This way. Minimize the risk of damage. Yeah. I can leave over there. 
Well, I was saying, Guinness, if you want to just walk straight across here, there's there's a rock about this far, like just right here that your feet could catch. Yeah, you, you, you jump eight feet. Oh, eight feet. You can just jump straight to that rock if you wanted to. Whoa! I will take the rock over there. Get out of your way. Did you almost take a step that way? <laughs> Oh, you did it, Guinness? Yep. Thank you. Cool. This branch bends, but this tree is solid. I, I, heard, I heard something. <laughs> I've done more little butt scooches today than I've done like all yesterday. One good thing about this notch is it's training me to be comfortable with the butt scooch. Yeah, do you think I'm gonna do And step down. You probably don't have to do it that way. I like that. Woohoo, someone turned on the AC for us. Oh, that's an awesome sound. Oh, hello, Grizzly. Oh, Grizzly. Good, how are you? Loving this jungle gym for grown-ups. Yeah, it's, it's like you just let your kids loose in here. Turn yourselves out. Ugh. Oh, I got warm again. This is a good spot for me to step back and allow these fine ladies to show us how it's done. <laughs> Scout team. <laughs> Can you say is that one of the few places where we feel like short legs are a bit of an advantage? Yeah, Coming through some of those tunnels and things. Ah, I got the lower center of gravity and everything going for y'all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Hike safe. Have fun. Give us a big woohoo when y'all hit the end, all right?
<laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I do tell you that, if anything else, the uh, notch has made me more proficient in the butt scooch, yes, much, you know? <laughs> much, not a technique I used to use a lot, but I'm really appreciating on this section. That is low. Well, we made it through the notch, ox, Myself, Ragnar, coffee, front pockets, and Guinness. Front pockets took a little bit of a uh, of a tumble backwards. Survived. Guinness lost his phone for about a half hour. He retrieved it. Uh, we all took our little slips and half falls, but you know, no real injuries. A little scraped knee here or there. All in all, will I say it was the most difficult mile? Yeah, I mean, I think I had a harder time coming down North Carter in some spots than ever really getting through the notch. Physical, yes. Intense, okay. All condensed in one mile. Had a good time. Yeah, any, any thoughts on the, the notch? Yeah, not it might not. be the most intense part of the trail I've ever done. I but, agree with but, what you said, and it was, people say it's the fun mile, and it was fun. It was fun. It was a chess puzzle. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it's an adult playground, a jungle gym for adults, and a good time. Take your time and enjoy it. And, and I would say the lighter your pack, probably the easier you'll Very have true. of it, but not impossible to do, go through. And uh, sorry, my battery in the GoPro died, you know, most of the way through it. So I recorded a, a good bit of it. Hope you all enjoy it. We're going now up the arm, which doesn't seem like too grisly of a climb so far, you know, until we get to the exposed rock up, up there. But you know, we'll deal with that when it, when it comes. That's about as straight up rock climb as I want right now. I've done more vertical, but this is doable. It's just real, uh, real intense. Oh, getting the elevation back up. Little one, little bitty. <laughs> whoops! It? And we got Ragnar the bleeder Ragnar again. The bleeder. Oh. He just recovered from his last bloody mess. Well, we'll leave it up to YouTube. YouTube, should he be Bloody King Ragnar or should he be Ragnar the Bleeder? Leave it in the comments. Oh boy. Development behind us, folks. And, uh, yeah. Woo! This is awesome. Back. No, no, his harness would have, his harness would have like only made him fall like three feet. Okay. But then he'd just been dangling there in like his five-point harness. 